Now, powering the next generation of AI PC experiences takes more than just hardware. It takes smarter software with models that are lighter, faster, and can run directly on device. These are different than what you're seeing in the cloud. So to talk more about this next wave of model innovation, please welcome Ramin Hassani, co-founder and CEO of Liquid AI. Ramin, it's great to have you here. Um, I'm very excited about the work that you guys are doing at Liquid. You were really taking a different approach to models. Uh, can you talk a little bit to the audience about what Liquid is doing and you know, why it's different from um, others? Absolutely, Lisa. It is great to be here. We are a foundation model company spun out of uh, MIT two and a half years ago. We're building efficient generative AI models that can run fast on any processor inside and outside of data centers. We design from scratch multimodal models with a hardware in the loop approach that allows us to optimize neural architectures for a given hardware. We are not building transformer models. We are building liquid foundation models, powerful, fast, and processor-optimized generative models. The goal is to substantially reduce the computational cost of intelligence from first principles without sacrificing quality. That means liquid models deliver frontier model quality right on a device. Device could be a phone, could be a laptop, could be a robot, could be a coffee machine, and could be an airplane. Basically, anywhere compute exists with three value propositions, privacy, speed, and continuity. It can work seamlessly across online and offline workloads. For me, you know, our teams have been working really closely on bringing more capable models to AI PCs. Can you share a bit about that work? Absolutely. Today, I've got two new product announcements. One, we are excited to announce Liquid Foundation Models 2.5, the most advanced tiny class of models on the, on the market. At only 1.2 billion parameters, the model performs best on instruction following capabilities between its class and models that are larger in its class. LFM 2.5 instances are the building blocks of reliable AI agents on any device. To put this in perspective for you, this model delivers instruction following capabilities better than the uh, you know, DeepSeq models and Gemini Pro kind of models, Gemini 2.5 Pro, right on the device. We are releasing five model instances, a chat model, an instruct model, a Japanese enhanced language model, a vision language model, and a lightweight audio model, audio language model, basically. These are highly optimized for AMD, Ryzen AI, CPUs, GPUs, and NPUs. And um, today, they are available for download on Hugging Face and on our own platform, Leap. There you can enjoy them. That's pretty cool. So we can stack these LFM 2.5 instances together to build agentic workflows. But then it would be really amazing if we can bring in all these modalities into one place. So that brings me to my second announcement, LFM3. LFM3, it is designed natively multimodal to process text, vision, and audio as input and deliver audio and text as an output in 10 different languages with sub-100 millisecond latency for audiovisual data. You will get LFM3 later in the year. All right, that's fantastic. So, <laughs> now, Ramin, help our audience understand, like, why should they be so excited about LFM3? Like, what can we do with these models on an AI PC? Absolutely, so most assistants, AI assistants, co-pilots today, are reactive agents. You open an app, then uh, you ask a question, it responds. But when the AI is running fast on the device and is always on, it can be working you know, on the tasks proactively for you. The, the task can be done in the background. So let me show you a quick demo, a reference design to inspire what is possible to build on PCs with LFM instances. Let's jump in. Imagine you're a sales leader working on your AMD Ryzen laptop with LFM3 backbone proactive agents activated. You're in full focus mode, 
working on a spreadsheet, notifications start piling up, you get a calendar notification for a sales meeting, but want to continue your work in deep focus. A liquid for active agents notices the meeting and offers to join on your behalf. You allow the agent to join, and while you focus on your data analysis task, in the background, the meeting is in progress with your agent representing you. Are you sure we can trust this agent? I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little worried there, Ramin. <laughs> yeah. This system can actually transcribe more than transcribing your systems, you know, and really understanding what is going on. And the system can also be hooked up to your email platform. It can analyze your emails like as your emails are actually coming out. It can perform a deep research functionality. So with the deep research functionality, you can analyze every email and draft the response for you. Again, everything under your own control. You know, you're not going to go, uh, uh, this is not going to go rogue. Everything is offline <laughs> locally on the device. So this system can deliver you know, a summary. It can do the jobs better than what you have expected, what you have seen from reactive agents. I think this year is going to be the year of um, you know, proactive agents. And I'm very excited to announce that uh, we are bringing, we are working, we are collaborating with Zoom to bring these features to the Zoom platform, actually. That's fantastic. <laughs> Ramin, we're really excited about what you're doing. I think you've just given people just a glimpse of what we can do when we bring you know, true AI uh, capability to our PCs. So thank you. We're excited, and uh, we look forward to all we're going to do together. Thank you so much. Thank you thank for you. having me. Thank, thank you. you.